Would you say today that it was worth it? The, uh, the embarrassment, the embarrassing times, uh, the hard work, uh, probably not spending enough time with you two or spending a lot of time with your kids. Uh, would you say it was worth it? I would say yes. Um, you actually kind of touched on it, you know, spending time between us. There actually was a point where uh, we both were like, man, do we really like each other right now? What are we doing this for? Mm -hmm. And it, it's you really, if it wasn't for faith and if it wasn't for our, our, our strong faith in God and helping us push through these moments, I mean, if you think about it, anybody who's getting off of working a nine to five, getting off and then working till probably midnight to come home and try to make sure the family's uh, good to go the next morning. That's kind of crazy. Uh, so at some point, you know, we did say, hey, remember what this journey is about. Let's let's remind each other that, you know, we need to become closer in this as well as getting out of, out of, out of this journey. We're only going to move as, as fast as we can together rather than apart. And now there were times we did have differences. You know, I'm a spreadsheet guy. She's a pen and paper girl. Um, <laughs> so, so we did have some differences. Like, no, let's tackle this. No, let's tackle this. And it's like crunchy numbers. Like, okay, well, look, we, this may be big. This amount may be bigger. But once we pay that off, we get a little more back. You know, I'm like you, DJ. I, I grew up in a very, uh, not a, I wouldn't say a um, poverty home set, but I didn't grow up with, you know, wealth. I grew up with a family living paycheck to paycheck, family of six. Uh, me, my brother, and my sister had to sleep in one room. My grandmother slept in the other room, and my mom and dad, of course, had their own room. And I know what it feels like to eat <clears throat> spaghetti five days straight because that's all we could afford. Not only are you changing your life, but you are changing your daughter's future. And you're you're teaching them, okay, one, this is the lifestyle you need to have, and make sure no knucklehead brother come up in here and take you off of this path because— you know, my mother didn't have a wedding because she was living paycheck to paycheck with my uh, father. She never had a honeymoon. My mom and dad never been out of the country um, until I sent them out of the country because they had to work, because they had so much debt. They had so many bills. But, you know, so I totally, totally get uh, why you guys are grinding so hard. For for that young couple that maybe, let's say they're in their young 30s, just got married, have a bunch of debt. They want to jump on this journey, but they're kind of nervous. Um, can you all give them one or two things to inspire them to keep going? You guys are not debt free. You're still on this same journey as well, and you're about to get there. Um, inspire that young couple that's watching right now. Um, give them, give them some encouragement. Happy wife, happy life. So you, you take care. <laughs> My man said, "Happy wife, happy life." <laughs> Uh, I would just say, you know, just start. You have to start somewhere. Make that decision. Put your foot down and get a plan. Sit there with your partner. Write out that debt and follow it. Um, I've been following Dave Ramsey for a few years. And so I um, work those steps as he mentions it. Um, compromise within your relationship. Everyone may not be 100% on board with something. And just make sure that you compromise and work together. And it could be a very long journey. It can be a short journey, depending what your situation may be. Uh, but just don't give up and you're going to get frustrated and you're going to get tired and you're going to want to quit, but just don't give up until you see that finish line. And then I think, I mean, for me on Instagram, I quietly was following along with the debt-free community and watching for my personal page. And then it was like, you know what, I'm going to, you know, get involved with this a little bit more. And that community on Instagram has been amazing. And the Facebook groups that Dave Ramsey has and Financial Peace University have been amazing with encouragement and wisdom and helping you not give up and encouraging every single person. So one thing, start, don't give up, and just keep pushing through and you will see the other side. I like what you said there too. You said, don't give up, which is number one, which I totally agree. Um, you got to get started. You have to start, you know, because if you don't start, then you pretty much gave up. But then another thing that you said there was community. I just, I just heard community. And... You know, you got involved with that free community, got involved with the Facebook community. You created your own community of friends that's in the same thing. And it's it's amazing of what we can do when we come together. You know, the Bible talks about that. God says it's best for us to not be alone. And so I love the fact that you said that. And so for uh, those watching right now, like, you know, get started. And when you get started, do not give up. And while you're not giving up, Make sure you have a community of individuals who will push you to uh, your vision, your goals.